Good morning YouTube. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel Bambinos. Yeah, we're gonna do another vlog with my dog. Not a bad name, is it? For this little sides uh, side videos that I do. I really enjoy these. Obviously we go walking nearly every single day of the week, walking or running. Me, one man and his dog. That sounds cool as well. Yeah, so we will go in, I've got a week off this week. And this is currently, I think we left the house at half past six this morning. And we were getting ready and it was absolutely tipping it down. So we were gonna go anyway, the rain doesn't bother me. Don't get me wrong, I'd rather if it's not raining. So we were getting ready to have a wet and wild adventure this morning. Me and my boy, Rossi. Say hello, Rossi. Come here. Come say hello. There he is. Hello. Um, then as we left, it's, it's actually, I don't know if you can see, but it's still quite cloudy. You can see the clouds, the rain clouds. But yeah, luck is on my side. And it's lovely and warm. So I thought, yeah, I'll we'll get to take the camera with us. So I'll take you guys with us too. Not sure if the tide is in or out. I've actually recently discovered a new little walk. It's not a massive walk. Oh God, I've bend down to get low under there. Yeah, so I thought I'll show you guys. What's that, boy? Uh, tide's on its way in, looks like today. So this is the estuary. The tide, right? Well, where I'm standing right now, the seaweed there. We had a high tide the other day, a really high tide. Oh, it's going to be a muddy one today. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, we don't mind. We don't mind. Yeah, so this is about, well, I've been walking just over 10 minutes to get here. The cows have come out this morning. Good morning, cows. Please subscribe. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, you've got to be careful because sometimes the tide quite rarely mind it goes up there like you can see where the seaweed is but look how low it is there just to give you an idea Rossi's thinking who am I talking to again yeah so this walk that I've recently discovered it's about three to four kilometers so it's not a massive one but what I'm thinking of doing oh, I'll tell you what I'll show you what we came up not yesterday the day before Sunday morning I went exploring and found like, um, it's like a lake, but it's closed off to the public. It's like a private lake where you pay to go fishing. And there was someone fishing there, he had a tent, did all the gear there. And I thought, what a stunning little view he's got to wake up to every morning while he's camping down there, you know? Oh yeah, so I'll uh, catch up with you in a bit. Oh, look at him. This is barbed wire fence thing, and he made such a big deal about jumping over. And bless him, he's checking to see if I can come in. Yeah, he's such a caring dog. Making sure I'm safe jumping over. Ah, <laughs> oh, good boy, isn't he? Yes, we're still walking alongside the history. But it gets. Now, you probably can't see this, where Rossi's standing. There's a little bit of a bank there becomes more prominent in a bit. But I think this is man-made, you know, to stop the, the floods and stuff like that. It doesn't work all the time, mind. My, literally around the corner from my house, the local petrol station, I think twice it got flooded last year, or this winter, last winter rather. Yes, it doesn't quite always work, you know. But yeah, I don't know if you can see these stones, big boulders have been placed. And then I'm assuming over time, the grass has grown. So it's to stop the water. There's factories and stuff just there, you know. Yeah, we love it up here. I wasn't aware you could walk up here, see? But I think one evening after work, we were down here and it was a high tide because I ride across, funny enough, I'll show you now. Uh, can you see that bridge in the distance there? 
minutes on my commute to work. So I was riding home and it was a stunning evening, you know, the sun, the sky was all red and I thought, oh, I'll have my food later, give Rossi his food and we'll come walking straight away. And we came down here and I noticed the man had, was walking along here. So I thought, oh, I'll have to check that out. But yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's not far from a house. If you want to get away from everybody, just one man and his dog, it's just perfect, you know? Oh, another jump, oh, there he goes. He's getting used to it now. Look at him go. A massive jump over here. Boom. And he's wet, he's checking on me. Look, look at him, bless him. Make sure uh, his dad, oh, nearly went. It is pretty muddy today. It's muddiest it's been since, we've, uh, since I've been doing this little walk. But it's okay, I don't mind. Yes, I'm coming. There we are, so we're coming to the end of our little walk alongside the canal, uh, canal uh, street. So we're going a bit more inland now. We're gonna be land lovers. It's just beautiful down here. Nice place to come, you know, bring a backpack and some food and uh, some squash or something. Sit down. It's actually a nice place, I'll show you now, I think, to have food. You can tell other people are using it because you've got a little bit of litter. Oh my gosh, there's a shopping trolley over there. Now, how the hell did that get there? Wow, fair play. It's a lot of effort to bring a shopping trolley this far out. Show you now. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah, I think the would be a nice place to go. Oh, someone's had a fire. Look at all the litter, the shopping trolley. Really, yeah, a nice field. Yeah, we like it. Come here, bye. Start of the show. Okay, so this is we've just climbed over the bank. That's where we've come from. And it comes out on this dirty little road. So we can go this way. This is where we came exploring Sunday. So the way home is the other way. This doesn't actually go that far up, you know. So we've been walking for just over 20 minutes. Again, it's not a long walk, but it's, this is where the that little fishing lake is. So I'll show you, show you guys that. Anyone into their fishing? I don't know anything about it. I don't know how much it costs or anything like that. But there was a van back down here. Exciting, isn't it? So I assume that was the fisherman's van. So obviously this road is used. I wouldn't want to come down here on my motorbike, let me tell you. Right, in a bit. Yeah, you can tell it's, uh, we've had heavy rain. There wasn't a drop of water down here last time. This isn't the lake. <laughs> the lake is just to our left there. So, I think there's like gaps. Oh, that, that man still here, look. Yeah, there's gaps like in the like little camping spots, I suppose, or fishing spots. Well, obviously you're allowed to to camp. Maybe the guy lives there. Who knows? Yeah, I'll show you here. I think it's really nice. You know, camping by there. Nice lake. Oh, I got swans. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up. Got a load of swans living around here. Yeah. Yeah, and it's right on our doorstep. How lucky are we? Yeah, basically this road only goes 
I'd say less than 100 meters and it's like a dead end then so it's like a, just enough room for your car or your van to turn around and it's time to go back this way goody ladies are listening come on in let's go oh, straight in the water <laughs> now I've always wanted to test if my new boots are waterproof so there's a deep pedal here so I thought we'll do a on camera test to see I'll let you know if I can feel any water going in oh I can feel a bit on my left I think to be fair it's gone in like there like in by the, the, my, by the laces are you know brother not pretty good that's a little test my Adidas hiking boots I really like them <laughs> so I put that in there. So we're still walking along this dirt road, I suppose. Still relaxing. We've got another little bit of the lake there. Not sure if it's connected to the other one we've just seen. Not sure. I think this here. So this is the path that we came in on, okay? So we're gonna go through up oh, and test my boots again. Are they waterproof? Yes, they are, baby. Go Rossi, he don't care, does he? He's a good boy. He's always wondering who I'm talking to though. <laughs> so this path comes or goes by this big old factory. I'm not sure. I think it's still in use. Obviously, we're at the, the rear of the factory now. So we'll have a little luck. I'm pretty sure it's in use. I'm sure I could hear one day we were a lot coming along here near like the forklift trucks and stuff moving around in there or outside. So we've got. Oh, there. But it's not in the best condition like parts of the, the roof have gone and exposed to the elements, let's say. I'll have a look now. Oh yeah, I can see a bit there where the roof is missing. Rusted away, looks like. Oh, can you hear the wildlife? I can I tell her in the countryside. Mainly seagulls, I think. Making a noise, aren't they? Yeah, look, if you look at the roof, I'll oh, get a better. If you look here, look, you probably see it. Look at that. You wouldn't want to be working there in the winter, would you? And he said, Come on, Dad, stop talking. More walking. <laughs> yes, I'm coming. Hello again. <laughs> Yeah, so we, again, when we went exploring, we're walking along this track. It just seems to keep going and going and going, you know? And then part of exploring is having a look what's off the track. So we just went this way, very randomly, and it brings us back to the cycle track uh, that runs along the canal behind my house. This is a perfect little walk, actually. Like I say, it's a little walk. So a total, you're looking four and a half to five kilometers. So those days where, you know, you're a bit tired, feeling a bit run down from work or something, you know, Rossi can have a run around. You know, it's better than not going. So yeah, we really like this little walk. I don't know if it'll be one we'll be able to do in the winter. because it's very limited lighting. Of course, it gets darker in the UK some evenings around six o'clock so it might have to be a summer one or well, I can invest in a headlamp you know yeah I'll probably go that way actually yeah I, I like it I like this little walk one day we will explore we'll carry on going along that road I've got a feeling I know where that comes out though so yeah thanks for watching here we go we're coming to the end of the off-road bit I like to say and this is coming up to that cycle path 
which we've gone, I think we've done this on my channel. God, we're on here every other day, at least. Yeah, you know the way, don't you? Come on then. Yeah. Yeah. I'm starting to feel guilty because I haven't been for a run for, gosh, nearly a week now. I think I'll go tomorrow. I'll do it like minimum 5 to 10k. Nice. Clear. The old dust off the legs. <laughs> well, I am older now, 42. I turned 42 yesterday. Officially an old man. Oh, let's have a look. Sometimes the swans and the cygnets are right here. But normally in the evenings they tend to hang out here. No, I can't see them. They're literally the other side of the canal. Just there. We have got the horses. I'll show you. Right. Oh, there's a bike coming. Are you show it? Listening? Listening? Keep in now. Yes, yes, keep in. Come on, good boy. Keep in. Good boy. Keep in. Good boy. Keep in. Good boy. Keep, uh, keep in. Good boy. Keep in. Good. Good boy. There we go. He was happy, wasn't he? <laughs> well, we dodged the rain. Nearly by my house now. Like there, yeah, coming to the end now. End of the canal path, anyway. Yeah, it'll probably be looking at my watch. I'd say four and a half to 4.7 kilometer walk. This is by the time we get home. Yeah, nice relaxing morning. Stuck a best way to start the day, you know. Sun is trying its best to come out. Might not look like summertime, but it definitely feels it. It's lovely and warm. And all I've got on is shorts and a like a long sleeve t-shirt. And yeah, it's lovely. Anything else would be too much. Yeah, you can still tell this recently rained. I love the smell after the rain. Can you smell that? Mmm. Have you subscribed to uh YouTube, they call it smell a vision. You'll be able to smell that, mm, it's lovely. I've always liked the smell after the rain. People make fun of me for it. I'm like, oh, whatever. It's like 50 shades of green, isn't it? It's all that green. Oh, hang on one sec. Oh, had to clean up after Rossi. All done. <laughs> that was his contribution to the video. Hey, good boy. Do, 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 do. Again, because there's so much growth now, you can, can't really tell there's water literally just there, you know? All this growth. Rossi knows he's learned the hard way. He's actually been in there once and he had a fright of his life, I think. A bit further back, running along. He's actually been in there a total of three times. He's fallen in the canal, but he's running and he's not looking where he's going. And where there's a bend in the canal, I'm shouting at him to look where he's going. I don't think he, under he understands now. Again, he's learned the hard way. Yeah, he's fine though. He was straight in and straight out, shaked himself off dry and carried on running. You know, give me a scare. It's a little bit misty down here. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Yes, I've had a lovely morning. Oh, there's a little path. God, we must have gone up here once or twice. And he's waiting to see. No, we're not going up there today. He remembers everything, see? Yeah, is the camera picking that up? How misty it is? Might be my eyes, mine. <laughs> I am getting old now, like I said. Growing old gracefully, though. I don't mind. Yep, good boy.
Right, we are really at the end of the path now. Rossi knows the way, look. He's checking, oh bless him. Yes, and come in. I think it's actually a little bit of rain coming down. Oh no, it's coming off the leaves because of the wind. It's just blowing all the rain that was sitting on the leaves, you know. Oh no, I'm wrong. It is raining, look. Yeah, that's why you could see that mist. I'm walking into a rain cloud. Oh, it's dark over there, look. Well, like I said, we don't mind the rain. Not at all. Oh, we've got a wee there now. Mark his territory. Doors open there, look. We'll be letting the rain in. Right, I think we are going to cut it off there, guys. Coming up to the roads now. And because of the time of day, we left at about half six. Probably, probably about half a seven in the morning. So people are coming in to work and stuff. So it's going to be extra careful with Rossi, with the roads. So I don't want to be filming and trying to look after him. So hope you enjoyed this little dog vlog. Yeah, I call it a dog vlog. I like the sound of that. I yeah, hope you enjoyed the dog vlog. Have a great day, everyone. Love you. Bye.